what's been going on YouTube this is Oax Bats here today I'm going to show an updated version of my uh, how to, to on tutorial on how to edit record everything everything you need and what do you need is dead Mumi, uh Vegas Pro I have uh, this is updated for Vegas Pro 11 so Vegas Pro 11 Camtasia Studio 8 handbrake for compression and does Mumi for the let's play um, first of all uh, we're gonna need to um, open up your does Mumi. this is the way I record mine and then uh, have your screen recorder which in this case is going to be Camtasia and what I do is I start the ROM I start the ROM and I don't know for what reasons this thing is being so slow let me just adjust this a little bit alright you know what fuck it um, when you start the ROM you just place it wherever you want like I usually record um, half screen let me take sound away I don't know what's acting up like this now so uh, I usually record one screen so you can record one screen or record both like for uh, versus recorder the best setting is view you click on view magnification filter you can click on HQ times 4 but my, my screen is not that big so I just uh, click on HQ as in high quality 2 times super psi I mean uh, I, uh, times 2s and then record the screen I'm going to record. After you're recorded, uh, you're going to go uh, go ahead and open up your Camtasia. Let's say, for instance, this is my part four of uh, the Let's Play I'm doing right now. I just recorded it. And this is how it's going to look, the actual entire part. It's going to look like this. So uh, whenever you're done editing, whatever you want to edit, if you recorded both screens, I suggest you click on the zoom in pan and then you zoom and tweak a little with it. Because uh, this video is more of a quality kind of thing, not actually uh, uh, the whole entire process. Like, you should be able to record it. So, um, what you do is click on Produce and Share. And uh, why is it taking so long? You click on Produce and Share and then wait for it because this thing is just acting up and it's all stupid. All right. When this thing pops up, I usually go for custom production settings, and then I click uh, WMV. You can click AVI, but last time I clicked AVI, it didn't work for me, so I just click on WMV. Then here, try uh, stay, keep it like this, or you can put it like this, but I don't. Uh, it doesn't really matter for me. Then here, okay. Um, if you're recording a let's play and you do not want to edit. Uh, in Vegas Pro like color and, and sharpness then you can just um, render it uh, in here and then here you put 1280 and then uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and then put here 720 and then rent oh crap what is this 720 and then render it like this if you're not gonna use Vegas Pro if you're gonna use Vegas Pro you can do it like this but the way I do it is I put 640 here in 480 in here and then I click next next and then I save it I took the liberty of doing this already so I already did this all this entire process so I'm actually gonna edit the video that I'm going to make the thing on so and I'm gonna edit it as say the same way I edit a Wi-Fi battle the same way I edit every single one of my videos this is the way I do it so open up your big oh, I already had Vegas Pro open I'm sorry uh, open up your Vegas Pro, and the first thing you wanna, you're going to want to do, like I already have it done, but first thing you're going to want to do is click on New, and then this window with New Project should appear, and then you're going to click HD 20 whatever, and then you're going to go down and look for HDT HDV 72030p, 20 frames per second. I usually used to do this one, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Click on that, then make sure the aspect ratio is uh, this thing. Uh, 1280 by 720 uh, keep everything like this square all right here is where you're gonna have to change it if you want a good uh, a good recording smooth recording here you're gonna click here and click 15 frames per second as multimedia this is the way I want to do it then everything else you just put here at best it should be in best already uh, wait then you put gosh in right here uh, I don't know what this is but whatever then audio 
uh, I just I just put this in best everything I put everything in best and then I don't use these last three so then for sake I'm not doing this every time you just click this little arrow or um, check mark right here click OK and now you already have your template done all right first you're going to want to, you're going to want to do to start editing your video your battle or something uh, you're going to want to go and click in uh, import media and uh, I think, let me see if I have a battle here that I can, uh, no, actually, where do I put the battles? I don't remember where I put the battles. Uh, this is my new computer, so. Uh, all right. Uh, no. All right, I can't seem to find the battle. You know what? I'm going to find it here. All right, here it is. Okay, uh, all right, it's in the Camtasia Studio folder. All right, so you go ahead and find your recording. It's usually in the Camtasia Studio folder. It's dumb of me not to know. Now you click on the battle, or if you recorded a uh, uh, part, then it should be in your mono type thing, which, yeah, if you recorded a, a Let's Play, then it should be on your... Uh, it should be on the Camtasia Studio to say the name of your Let's Play, but for this, uh, then for for this sake, uh, this video's sake, I'm going to use the battle. Is in a new battle I had. Uh, I think I already uploaded this. All right. When you put it here, uh, you're going to see these lines right here. You don't want those lines because they look unprofessional. So you're going to right click, click on properties, and then maintain aspect ratio. You uncheck that box. Make sure it's unchecked, and then you click on OK. You see the video stretch, and you see the video itself looks kind of cool, but I actually like my uh, coloring, so I already made a preset. It's called here HD. I am going to put this uh, the, the numbers down. You can actually see it change right here. Like, look at this. I'm going to uncheck it just for you guys to see the difference. You see, it's kind of little, a little bit dull, but when you add this, like the colors actually pop, pop out, and uh, when you see the actual video when you when you actually see it like it looks it looks better like let me pull out the let me put it right here and I'll pull out the events just for you guys to see the difference you see it's kind of dull and now the colors look a lot better so uh for this what you're going to want to do is put these numbers exactly how I how I have them saturation 1.200 gamma 0 0.950 gain 1.265 and offset negative 9.5 you can tweak a little with them uh, I'm not saying this is the best coloring scheme but this is the one I use uh, you can also add the color curves and you can uh, with the color curves this you just put default in here and then what it, what you do is just you tweak it up a little bit or you just uh, take a point and just tweak it. I don't know. Whatever you want to do with it. I don't use them anymore. So I'm not going to do that uh, to put them on. Um, another thing you should put on, which is really important, is the sharpen. The HD sharpen, I just put this. I drag it down. And uh, the HD is actually 200. So you can just put the light light uh this light preset that you have right here you can put this one and then bring it down a little bit or you can you can just leave that light one and it should be good but just for you guys to see a different you you might not see the difference right away but it actually ends up having a really good impact on the difference like let me see if let me if we bring this over here you can see it better all right let me uncheck it you guys might not take note of the difference but it actually makes a really good difference so uh, after you add that, you can close this out. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you can actually add this soft contrast. Soft contrast actually uh, gives the video a little bit of a more professional kind of look. If you can see now, uh, the video is kind of bright, but you want to you add the soft contrast. You see, it gives like a little uh, it gives the little uh, shadowing into it. You can see it, like it's bright. But here, this one is bright, but it looks kind of different. So I like to put that on my battles. I don't put it on my Let's Play because it takes a little bit longer to render the soft contrast. But it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, 
since it's a battle, I am going to put this off contrast. And uh, I think that's it for the uh, image editing. For narrating battles, I usually use my iPhone. But um, for this, you can use this. You can right click right here and then insert audio track and then click this button right here on for record. And then you click yes. And then right now, if you talk like I'm talking and it's recorded, if I click this button right here, it's going to start recording. But before you want to record, if you want to add something else to the video, you should add it. Uh, like for instance, if you want to put something on top of your video, you just add it and then put it like in a, a, a different track, but on top of this one. For speeding up the video, you notice that this video is actually 14 minutes and 53 seconds long. I don't want it to be that long, so I just put my cursor over over here when you can see those double lines. And you hold control, and then you click, and then you drag it. When you see those zigzag lines, it means that you're speeding the video up. So if I play the video... If I play the, if I put the video back here, that's the original speed. Let me let me tone this down a little bit, just for it to run a little bit smoother. You can see it, it's speed going, but if you actually do what I did, like hold Control and drag it down, like you can see that image going a lot faster. It is going a lot faster. So uh, yeah, that's the way to put the battle. After that, you're gonna want to render your battle. So for rendering, you click this little arrow right here, and you can drag it all the way to the end of your video. So I'm going to pause this. And now click on File, click on Render As. For my previous video, I used a totally different preset, which was a main concept AVC AAC mp 4 But I actually found that QuickTime is a better alternative, and it's it, it, it doesn't lack the quality, so it's pretty good quality. So what are you going to do for a Wi-Fi battle? You're going to click, uh, the first one you're going to want to click is, uh, fifth, uh, you're going to click whatever video you want, like, want to make if you want, if your speed is really fast or whatever, I'm just going to click this one, custom template, right? So what, what you, what you want to want to do is, uh, put the high definition thing, 1280 by 720, then multimedia, leave it at 15 frames per second, do not change that. As to that video format, you can choose the video output of your of your uh, of your video. So um, I don't know. You change it to whatever you like. Um, I guess I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. But for more accurate, uh, for a more accurate uh, tutorial, I'm gonna show you mine. <laughs> So I put a high definition one as I said, live that at multimedia 15 frames per second. Here I put MPEG 4 video, 24 bits color, quality, make sure it's on high if you want a really good looking video. Then um this you can just leave it like that. I didn't touch any of that. So here you you could uh it's actually a different one. So I, I deliberately put it in MPEG 4 low complexity AAC streaming make sure you put it fast start what this is going to do is make your video file a lot smaller so you can actually uh, up upload it a lot quicker now on project click best click right here click ok and yes yeah, you can see I already made this one it's already here well, the Wi-Fi one is the same one but I just have it named differently I don't know and then you click on render and this actually may uh this actually renders a lot quicker. You can see it's rendering really fast. So um yeah, when when the thing finishes rendering, I'm gonna cancel it because I already rendered it. When it when it's done, we wanna what you what you want to do is go ahead and look for your video. Like that's exactly how I rendered my video. So here it is, and his here's what is going on, people. Like after the narration and everything. This is how the video actually looks. So I'm going to tone this down so you don't hear it. But here's the picture of the video, how it should look when you end up, when you end the, uh, the editing. And uh, it's taking too long for the picture to, all right. So here it is. So here's the video. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty decent. You can tweak a little with it. You cannot add the soft contrast if you don't like it. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be all for this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please um, 
like this video, favorite this video if it helped you, and uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. See ya.